The time had come to start reconstructing the angels. After all the decodings and understanding of them and some deep thought, I decided to consult with a titan named Atlas, who corrected me about a great many things. After our conversation, I thanked him and I was on my way. I had learned what Atlas's burden was. First, a quick recap from Jason on what is taking place in the Taurus field we decoded in a previous video. Energy and mass are two states of the same thing. What we call atoms are equal and opposite electric charges held apart by a magnetic dipole. The energy is held in the atom has potential that we associate with mass. When the toroidal magnetic field collapses into the ecliptic, the negative charges are no longer bound and collapse into the positive charges. When the charges meet, a wave of energy is formed equal to the mass of the charges multiplied by the speed of light squared. The squaring is due to the fact that mass and energy are inverse properties of electromagnetism. Where the mass is equal in value to the inverse of the speed of light, the energy is equal to the speed of light. 1 over c times c squared equals c over 1. 1 over c and c over 1 are inverse to each other. Inside the magnetic dipole, the positive charges are held in the center diamond. The negative charges are held in orbits perpendicular to the magnetic field. When the magnetic field collapses into the ecliptic, the two opposed charges form an electric dipole, which quickly implodes on itself due to the fact that the charges are now free of their magnetic restraints. We know what happens when two opposite charges contact each other. We see it in cosmic ray showers. The two opposing charges annihilate each other and become radiation energy. Mass and energy are inverse properties of electromagnetism. Energy becomes mass again when it is subjected to a strong enough magnetic field to reform the magnetic dipole. Now we can reconstruct the angels with knowledge already gained, the Walter Russell Mortar and its science which is based on the science of the ancients. This is what I would call an angel in its most basic form. Walter was an absolute genius. Walter's science was given to him by an angel he always maintained. I bet you didn't know that, did you? From Walter's chart, this design is a fusion reactor. Notice the venturis that help compress water. This is where a manufactured torus field is created, very much the same as an antenna works. This area is where there is a back pressure and this is what generates the torus field on this motor. This one is a fission reactor, looking at the design it would appear daisy chaining them together would make sense. Walter terms them radar antennas. The vertical lines represent the pressure zones or venturis on the poles. Also notice water compresses to become fire and fire expands to become water. This renders the second law of thermodynamics as invalid. It is another man-made block designed to stop you progressing. Every researcher you know, including mainstream, will only talk about the effects as they do not have the answer to the cause or can never speak of the cause. Today, will you, today you will get to see the cause of a great many things. This image of Walters is also relevant to what I am about to show you. Now we will electromagnetically switch the nodes to cause them to accelerate the flow inside the halo. This of course is alternating current, which will cause the fluid in the halo to rotate around the halo as it accelerates. The nodes on the halo will get to a certain momentum speed and cause, cause the poles to flip, as Walter's image shows. As you know, magnetism and electricity are always 90 degrees in opposition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what that actually looks like in the visible spectrum, on a creator side scale. 
you are seeing the electromagnetic projection of a positive electrical sphere, which is basically trapped within a magnetic field. This is electromagnetism. This is cubing the sphere, not squaring the circle. Remember, we are working in 3D. And you are looking at a torus field that it creates. This is effectively an electric dipole as I decoded in our Angel's Decoded video and previous videos. It is now harvesting electricity from the dielectric and the energy is being utilised at the heart of the Angel technology and put to use for whatever its intended purpose is, which relates to world mechanics, alchemy, magnetism, electricity and creation, as you see on the Walter Russell chart. The colours become inverted due to the division of the sex pairs, the positives and negatives in each band of the electromagnetic light spectrum. So you only see the colours your vision allows, but you can be sure they emanate beyond these colours and frequencies which can be seen in this chart. The dark band that you see in between these colours is called the Alexander Band. It is the actual projection of the halo itself. The angel's halo to be precise. It is now the positive of the electric dipole. The colours encircle the halo and revolve with the flow inside, which is controlled by electromagnetic switching from the various pairs of poles we call nodes. As we have mentioned before, time-lapse rainbows and you will see how they revolve. This is their arc. The orange half sphere you see below double rainbows is this electromagnetic field. This is the signature of one of our angels. The sphere of that halo is being cubed. These are all connected and working together in this matrix of angel technology. All timed and synced events working 24-7, each of which is a revolving Tower of Babel, which simply means the mixing of the positives and negatives, which is what they are designed to do. The Celtic Tree of Life represents these processes. All Tree of Life symbology represents the same processes, and our ancestors all knew this very well. This information is what your holy books and creation stories are trying to tell you. Man has corrupted it to hide and steal it. Genesis 9, 10 to 16 is related to this exact process as all angels operate the same way. Now you can see the duality of this technology. The effects of electromagnetism cause the halo to create a projection of itself in the heavens which reverses its flow of direction back to the physical angel halo below. These are what create tornadoes and water spouts. They are a visible part of this process. We have something very special to show you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honour and an absolute pleasure to present to you Adam, Eve, the apple and the snake. Adam is the smaller halo and represents the positive part of the electric dipole and Eve represents the larger magnetic part of the dipole. The apple is their combined positive and negative electromagnetic torus fields and the snake is the compression of smaller dipoles from the ether being channeled within its field, which of course is what is generating electricity, as it divides and multiplies in this rotating tower of Babel we call a vortex. The mixing together of many smaller electric dipoles, thus creating more positives and negatives, as they are compressed and make that electrical signature we call lightning. Dividing and multiplying as the arc in all directions from their source of origin. The combined electromagnetic halos of Adam and Eve. Their spiralling pressure waves emanating outwards, spiralling into even more electric dipoles in our atmosphere. Radiating outwards and electrically charging everything within its path. The spiralling pressure waves of electromagnetism. This is the breath of angels. The word wind represents the windings as scripture mentions. Those windings in the sky, created by angel technologies that even Ezekiel tried his best to describe. 
a wheel in a wheel. The eyes are round about it, which is in relation to the nodes and their motions. The Vesica Pisces, the Scarab Beetle, Buddha, and all those other depictions of the Creator's tools. The angels are the Creator's tools of creation. This is the Genesis machine. You live on top of the Genesis machine. And this is how Adam and Eve create their Taurus fields. They create it, maintain it, and destroy it, which of course releases all those positives and negatives to create the signature of God creating lightning. Thank you Atlas, it is a great honour to share your burden with the tribes of the world. This is your creation story people. These are the angel technologies of a creator that has been hidden from you, so that greedy people can steal their glory from right below your feet. This knowledge and information is not copyright to any race, religion, group or nation. It is the birthright of every human being.